103-year-old speed record was broken and surpassed on Edwards August 25th. Not by an aircraft, but instead by a steam car. After enduring weeks of Mojave Desert heat and mechanical setbacks, the British Steam Car Challenge team broke the land speed record for a steam-powered car, achieving an average speed of 139.843 miles per hour on two runs over a measured mile. This surpassed the original 1906 record of 127 miles per hour. Uh, well, uh, this uh, event represents a culmination of over 10 years work by uh, various teams of uh, engineers and uh, uh, volunteers, enthusiasts uh, from uh, all over the UK. Uh, and uh, it's uh, been a, a, a long, hard effort to uh, bring, uh, bring down this uh, record that's been you know, standing for over a century. But the team didn't stop with one record. While driver Charles Burnett III was behind the wheel on August 25th and set the new measured mile record, the next day on August 26th, driver Donald Wales set a new land speed record for a measured kilometer, achieving an average speed of 148.308 on two runs. We've obviously broken the, the world's land speed record for a steam car. Uh, it's taken 103 years to do that. Uh, and we're here on Edwards Air Force Base who have been really helpful. The guys here have been really, really good fun uh, and helped us all, all the way. The team chose to challenge the record at Edwards because of the many benefits the location of the base offers. We needed uh, six miles at least uh, to run the car due to the uh, nature of the FIA regulations that mean you have to turn the car around twice uh, within one hour. Uh, the late bed has to be within 1% gradient and this is perfectly flat. Uh, we. Many of the late beds around the world are at different altitudes and have different seasons and this fitted us uh, perfectly. Uh, the infrastructure that is uh, around in terms of the uh, EMT and the fire services uh, enable us to uh, run safely. Uh, the altitude is relatively low which gives us more oxygen for the, the, the boilers uh, and from a logistics point of view its closeness to LA uh, means that we've been able to procure spare parts and uh, uh, been able to accommodate the team uh, successfully. Air Force Flight Test Center Commander Major General David Eichhorn feels the steam car challenge is a complement to Edwards' mission. It is all about performance. Uh, get, getting the folks out here to, to do their speed runs is exactly what Edwards does every day, pushing the machine to, the, to its limits, using the natural resources that the country has seen fit to give us. The records are pending certification from the Federation Internationale de la Automobile. More information is available at www.steamcar2009.co.uk. Don Waldman, Edwards Air Force Base, California. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you. Please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil.